Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another eye swatching video. I picked up the Natasha Denona Golden Collection minus the lip gloss. One, I'm not a gloss girl, but two, I absolutely loathe plumping glosses. I think they feel atrocious, so I did not pick that up. I am wearing the Fenty Gloss Balm Oil, just if you're curious. I love doing eye swatching videos. My eyes hate it, but I enjoy it. Hopefully these help inspire you to decide, well, hopefully it helps you decide if you want to buy this palette or not, because honestly, sometimes the eye swatches make or break the difference on if I want to buy a palette or not, and there's not a whole lot of swatch videos online like this. I really enjoy doing them, and I think you guys do too, because the last eye swatching video I did, you guys really seem to enjoy it. So if you do enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a like so it helps the al algorithm understand that this is the type of video you enjoy seeing. I will have every single shade timestamped below, so if you only want to see particular shades, feel free to click wherever you would like. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Ara. I am a 39-year-old mother of five. I love doing makeup in my free time. I am a nurse. I work night shift. Well, I kind of feel like I'm having a little bit of imposter syndrome at the moment, but I love doing makeup in my free time. I'm also doing two cheek swatches of the lightest shades here in the highlight trio, excuse me, and one eye swatch of the darker shade. I mean, look at me. I'm not going to be able to wear the deep shade on my face at all, so I will be able to wear it as, as eyeshadow, so that's how I will swatch this one today. It would look ridiculous if I tried to swipe it across my cheek. So if you enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe because I try to do eye swatching videos of the more popular palettes that launch. That's my goal to do that because these are not cheap palettes. They are quite expensive. So without further ado, let's just take all of this off and put these eyes to good use. I've already wiped off most of my face makeup. I did reapply my bronzer. I'm gonna try this with a larger brush. I would never do highlighter with such a large brush. Natasha uses a larger, denser brush to really help make these pop on the cheek so that you can see how they look. I'm gonna start by picking up the shade Pearl. If I have to switch brushes, I will. This is actually a very beautiful blinding formula. I did already apply this in my first video wearing the eyeshadow palette. And I already know how I feel about the formula. It's very, very beautiful. It's very blinding. I would never, ever apply it with a brush like this, but I would really love for you to just see how it looks. So now I'm going to pick up that shade on my finger. I'm just going to kind of swipe it across my cheek here. It blends in really smooth with your finger. If you're one of those people who uses highlighter with a finger, that's not me, but if you are, it does work with a finger. It is very beautiful. Stunning shade. And now for my right cheek, I'm gonna go in with the shade Sun Glow. And now I'm going to use my finger to do the same thing that I did on the left side of my cheek and I'm just going to pick it up and then swipe it across. I think this shade still works for me, but I would need to like mix these two to make it a little bit softer for my skin tone. I'm slightly intrigued, so I'm going to wipe off this brush one more time. I'm going to pick up the deeper shade and place it over my bronzer to see if I can make it look like a bronzer topper. So then for the shade bronze, I'm going to pick this up, not as heavy handed, and then just see if I can place it in the back of my cheek.
Well, I mean, I could use it as a bronze topper, but I would need quite a bit more color to my skin for summer because it would look really ridiculous. But if I use a gentle hand, I might be able to get away with it. Ooh, got the hair in my face. And then I would need to buff this down 100%, 100% buff it down. But as much as I think it's ridiculous and it needs to be toned down, technically you could use it as a bronzer topper. I don't see why not. The formula is very, very smooth. And I don't see a harsh line of demarcation. So you could definitely use it the way I did over a bronzer if you're a little bit deeper skin tone than myself. If you're similar to me and you have a fair complexion, especially one with a cool undertone, this may not, may not be something you want to do. It's definitely not something I want to do. If it were just a touch lighter, I could get away with it, but I don't think I can right now. But yeah, you could totally do that. Let's do this. Why not? Bronze. Champagne Sun Glow. And then Pearl. Bronze has quite a bit more pigment to it. That's impressive. Build that up a little bit. I really do like the formula though. This formula is a very nice, very nice texture. My eyes are already primed. I'm actually gonna do this eye swatching video with the Sigma Persuade Eye Primer. The last time I did this video, I definitely felt quite a bit of pain and the redness through my eyes peeked through quite a bit and I felt like it definitely changed the tone of the shades a bit. So I wanna help prevent that by muting out the redness with my eyelids with a primer. And for the majority of these shades today, I'm gonna to use a Sonia G Jumbo Blender. I'm gonna start by picking up all three of these shades and putting them on my eyes. This one is the shade Pearl. I'm gonna put this one in the front third. And now I'm gonna go in with Sun Glow. And now I'm gonna pick up the shade Bronze. I'm gonna place this on the outer third. This is how all three of these highlighters look on the eyelid. And to be quite frank with you, I would use this as eyeshadow, I just don't want to. However, the bronze I think would be the most beautiful and flattering because it's quite a bit, I don't know, it's just a little bit richer in pigment. For each of these eyeshadows, I'm gonna start the top row left to right, second row left to right, third row left to right. Maliko is a matte cream powder off-white. I'm going in now with Nubia, a sparkling foiled gold nude. And now Panna, which is a matte cream powder beige. Next up we have Aria, which is a matte, medium, light, dusty sand. Fizzy is a sparkling wet effect golden nude. I will apply it with a brush first and then use my finger.
Moving on to the second row now, we're at Varus, a metallic medium antique brass. Aura is a metallic golden ivory. I'll apply this with a brush first and then go over the top with my finger. Next up we have the shade Teak and Matte Medium Dusty Caramel. Kava is a sparkling champagne gold. I'll apply it first with the brush and then with my finger. Sandstone is a matte medium ochre. And now we come to the third row, Aurum is a metallic muted gold. Log is a matte medium brown. Oro is a metallic warm gold. Flesh is a matte light warm nude. Alchemist is a metallic brass. I'll use it on a brush first and then my finger. That is it for this ice watching video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helped you decide on whether or not you will pick up this palette or not. Remember, things go on sale all the time. So if you don't want to pick it up right now, there's always a Sephora sale later and Natasha Denona does her holiday sales that are absolutely amazing. You can save money on this somewhere down the road and the Beautylish events because this is already on Beautylish. So like if you do want to pick it up then, that's also a good time to do it. Everything on my face is linked down below in the description box. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. This eye look will be coming soon if it's not already. 
keep an eye out for that. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.